Well, hello again, everybody. It is time to get cracking again with Senor Wassington. So, I mentioned before we're not going to better do a great deal um, until we can sprint about because it's quite important. You know, sprinting is um, important to my survival, no doubt. Oh, we've got an empty roasting pan there. I'll have to get rid of that. Is it we're onto potato salad now, I believe? So, what we're going to do. Let's take the fresh and mushroom. We can use pickles in this as well. You we don't really want to use pickles, but fuck it. It just seems kind of boring just to have potato salad by itself and nothing else, so that's what we're going to do. Advanced cooking, let's put that away. And today, I think we're going to go out and just check on um, three gate. And we might build four gate as well because I believe all the wood is there, so that's something we can do. There's still the electronics um, project to do. Let's try and get the skill up to level two. Thing is, I'm not sure. I've not mucked about with, you know, improvised devices before, so I'm not even sure if we'd be able to even use it. It might just be a giant waste of time. Not today, son. Give me an axe. We've got loads of baseball bats and we ought to really switch over at some point. We haven't had to forage for stone axes. What are you doing there? Get away from there. Um, as yet, which is cool. Now, I haven't been over here in a while, guys, so I'll just die already. And your mate can die as well. Uh, fuck you! Yes. Um, yeah, so I imagine, due to the respawn, that we could encounter some uh, boysies and girlsies in here. <coughs> Chips and all that stuff. Uh, empty pot bottle, we'll take that with us. Another one. Because when we come across um, bathrooms and stuff, just give me some salt, man. I'm an actual salt addict in real life, so I would be getting pretty pissed off right now that we've used it all. We can't seem to find any more. Okay, the the stuff is getting quite scant now. Oh, what's all this then? Hello, we missed all this, didn't we? Choke tube full. Yes, please. Oh, the fucking rain. That might change things a little bit here, guys. I completely missed this one. It's a nice little find. Um, if it continues raining and it's going to be a nuisance, then um, I'll tell you what, let's just take this, these materials and put them in the freezer. Why not, eh? And then we'll disassemble this thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's steel. It only looked brown because of the thing. Okay, okay, gotcha. I'll say it doesn't look like it's made of steel to me. Um, if it rains, maybe we can go upstairs and... Uh, oh, dear me. Dear, oh dear. Right, let's have a look. Okay. All looks intact, doesn't it? There's some wankers down here, and we can certainly give them a go, that's that's no problemo. Okay, so let's get rid of these planks. We'll deal with the wankers in a minute, we're just going to eat something. We'll just go inside here and, uh, and get something to eat. The rope can go away for the moment, I think. The rain, yeah, it's really doing our head in. Um, if we could just dart back to the town, it wouldn't really be a problem, you know, like, I'll just get pissed off. It's taken us a little while it's a bit laborious walking, you know what I mean? But whatever. Oh, I don't even have the I don't even have the bloody bowl. <laughs> Sorry guys. That kind of settles it for me. I'm not gonna fight those guys limping around um, on an empty stomach. Saying that I could just eat these. I've got some more in here. Yeah, okay. While we're here then. While we're here, we'll, we'll get this done, and then we're going to go back, we'll make some potato salad, and we'll do a bit of disassembling if the rain decides to 
you know, to put the kibosh on our plan A. It's all intact still, so that's nice. Don't have to do any rebuilding. Dickheads, hello. Stomp. Yes. Now this mate is quicker, so we're going to let him come through first of all. Hello, lad. That's one. How many we got? Two. Double. Lovely. Push. Yeah, he's down. And this one's down as well. Well, this is good as down. Don't count your chickens, whatever, but... We're going to count our chickens. And stomp him in the throat. Yeah, lovely. Oh, some goodies. Nothing useful to us, mind you. I'll take rounds, you know, bullets, certainly. I will take an axe. Everything else I think we're pretty well stocked on. Right. What a pain in the balls, hey? That might potentially be the best shotgun we've come across. You look at the damage there, that's... That's sort of like 90-95% right there. Um, that will definitely help later. Later on we'll get to find out how quickly these things um, diminish in terms of um, durability. Right, okay. Let's put the shells in here. All the ammunition. Let's get the shotgun up here. We've got f too many weapons for the number of crates we have out here so we are going to have to think about expanding the storage uh, okay let's just go up here for now yes 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 we're wet and all that stuff whatever we'll have another look at those uh, we'll have a look at those shotguns over there um, in a minute just to just to see how good that one was by comparison right where's the old come on Come on, fuck nut. There it is, but we don't want it in the bag, do we? It's no good to us there. Make a salad, and then we're just going to go and do a bit of dismantling in the rain. In fact, we can read the book as well. I know it's boring, but that has to be done. Advanced cooking. Uh, let's make the salad from pickles. We might make a double potato salad, just, you know. Although saying that, I, I say we're going to do shit and then and then we don't do shit. We do something else instead. Because i tell you why, the making it fresh again and adding the spice to it reduces boredom and unhappiness quite a lot. And if we're going to do some reading, uh, then that's quite important, really. So let's just read this. <sighs> Until we get that bored mood will come up. I'm on coffee today. Keeping it, keeping it real. <sighs> it's not as good as fresh coffee, but it's the next best thing. This stuff. Peckish, mate. Well, some good news and some good news. Good. Okay. Potato. Add the mustard. The potato by itself <clears throat> doesn't, you know, increase your happiness. So by doing this, it's a nice little boosty. Look. Yeah jolly good okay back to reading oh no 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 we're not going to talk them to death Richard are we repair axe now I'm losing the plot where's it gone there it is okay this is the boring bit of Zomboid guys this is um you know, I spared you a lot of this in uh, in the previous uh, episode. And I think number forty it was because we've been doing this boring stuff while waiting for the leg to heal. It's got to be any day soon. Now it has to be. It must be surely. It's been ages. Okay, eat this up. Make the next one. Whoa. We're getting bits of potato left behind, so mm, 
we've got more potatoes behind and we have got some in the ground still so it's all good it's all good and it's getting late so this is probably going to take us up to bedtime really for fuck's sake so at least we killed some zombies today we did something and we found that shotgun as well in fact you know let's just have a little look now let's have a look at the axe situation the conditions on these are not great but this one's never been repaired so this one is as good as you know 66 percent capability I'm not going to repair any of the ones that have already been repaired until it's absolutely necessary um, shotgun yeah look look it's by far the best the best piece we've come across it's not to say that we won't get a hundred percent perfect one um, when we smash our way into the uh, the gun store I'm just I'm kind of I know it sounds sick but I'm kind of hoping that it might be overrun it will just give us something to to do a bit of wine tonight hey dick do you think you've uh, deserved it dude maybe maybe it will help you sleep on it buddy alright so we're getting there getting there there'll be no dismantling this evening it'll be time for bed Mustard. Yeah, yeah, add pepper. There we go. If we eat this now, I think that'll do us until until bed really. Come on, let's see if we can finish it. I think it'll work out quite well what we're looking at about Yeah, eleven o'clock or so. Nice, okay. And put it back down here. Really, we ought to um, take it outside. We've got three things we can burn there. Look, plenty of burning material. Oh, look at this! Look, 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 look! Do you see that? Do you see that shit? Yes, it's not as quick uh, as it could be, but that is golden, 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 golden. Marvellous. Well, I'm happy. Happy, happy. Ah, dick. We said it, mate. There's going to be a reward at the end of this. Let's go get that sledgehammer. And we can go out of... Oh, I shouldn't really neglect the farm here. So these are still ready to harvest we ideally want something else to come through I've not been as diligent as I could be despite all the time I've had on my hands guys um, that looks like it's nearly ready look cabbages but you know what I mean you want something else you just want something else uh, water bottles are quite low right I'm just excited here guys just forgive me sledgehammer there you come lad oh right okay we're gonna get thirsty soon but it's not a problem. There's plenty of water to be had in the surrounding area. The Geiger market's still got some, I'm sure. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. I say it's, it's nowhere near as quick as he can sprint, especially with his level of sprinting. Let's have a look at the skill situation here. Right, let's go Geiger. Um, the biggest ball lake is probably going to be number two gate. Um, I've got quite a grand thing in mind for that, but you know, let's take things what you know one step at a time. That's the nice thing about Zomboid, in my opinion, is you're bound to have unfinished um, projects at the point at which you die, and that's not a bad thing because if you had nothing to do, then fuck it, you might as well, you know, pop your clogs. So there should always be things on your list, you know, things you intend to do. Okay, just save a bit of weight there. In fact, what we're going to do, we might just... We'll come across these again later on. We found them in here empty. We're going to put them back full because I don't want to be carrying them around. We need a bit of space here. 
Um, come on, just find them. Where are they? Where have they gone? Let's put the orange soda back. Uh, water bottle too. Mm. Put one of the peppers back as well. Yeah. We might as well make a salad in here. You know, <clears throat> in the safety. Oh, and we're out of food after this, so... There we go. I shouldn't have got so carried away. I should have... Um, picked up those last potatoes. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that we've left these here. I need these... In fact, I need more than that, but we'll leave it at that. I need that for number... What is it? Four gate? This is three gate. I don't do myself any favours um, in, in the naming of my gates. I should call this one North Gate or something. Hello, dipshits. This is still my territory. Yeah. This is mine. The highway is mine. The fields are yours. That is from a horror film. An old one, I can't even remember the name of it. With Brian Cox, and when I say Brian Cox, I'm not talking about the professor. I'm not talking about um, the dude who stars in Deadwood and the Bourne movie. He's a very good actor. I, I do enjoy him. I do like him. I'm talking about this big dude who was um, typically always in horror movies. Um, around about the 80s, I think he played some badass demon thing in uh, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer as well. Um, a bit of lore for you. Now I don't know if we've raped Twiggies. But we can have a go at some point. It's not it's not far from home. You know, I mean we, we haven't I don't know if we've fully mullered it and now with the disassembling, which I'd kind of I knew about but sorry about that guys, someone at the door there. So yeah, this is this is nice. There isn't many people about, but that's okay because we are coming up to the end of the episode. Hello. Hello there. I can't give you what you want, I'm afraid. Oh, but you can take what I'm going to give you. Oh. There we go. Blissful rest. Okay. So, I mean, it's been so long since I've um, since I've gotten involved in the in the in the fucking gun shop. Did we already? check this, I can't remember, no we didn't we've got a can of pop there, lovely so we're going to knock this wall down as well break in have a look and see what we've got and then the looting part, you know, is going to have to wait until the next hmm, interesting okay Let's smash the lamppost down. I don't think this is going to get us into the actual goody bit. Um, but, oh, yes, lovely hunting knife. We like hunting knives. <laughs> oh, what's this? First aid, some books. Yep, lovely magazines. Okay. Oh, what was that? Did I just see an axe? Ah, oh, ha, 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 beauty. What a beauty. I had no idea you could find axes in here. Another one. Recall pad. Yes, this is good. This is very good. We're going to have fun. Yeah, I'm glad. Box of shotgun shells. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, 9mm and the shotgun shells. Excellent. Um, yep. I'm glad. I'm glad we saved this um, as a treat, guys. Um, very good indeed. Don't die now. Anyone in there? Ah, oh, yes. Goodies in the back as well. Dismantle these giant radios while we're here. 
cool okay so we're going to loot this joint um, in the next episode and I'll tell you what we're taking with us as well as a little prize is we're taking this stag's head absolutely absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever alright thanks for watching guys take it easy and as Dick McCarthy himself would say see you in a bitsies <laughs>